Good morning, everybody. Welcome, Minister Manka. Welcome, Minister Kunst. Welcome, State Secretaries. Welcome, Excellencies. In particular, I wish to welcome the Deputy, Deputy Chief of the Embassy of the United States, Mr. Meville. We uh, tried yesterday night a little joke, and he enjoyed it, so we decided to make a running joke, a running gag. We are happy that you listen to us in person. <laughs> Dear members of parliament, ladies and gentlemen, everybody in this building and on the live stream. This is the fifth Falling Walls conference, and for Berlin standards, that's a tradition. Um, in the fifth year, a couple of things will stay the same. To quote BBC, in this building, on this stage, after me, there will be some of the greatest minds on the planet. That's a quote. We will share thoughts and we will have a look into the future. November 9th, of course, is not only about celebration of the future, it is about commemorating the past as well. We do not only celebrate the 24th anniversary of the peaceful fall of the Berlin Wall, we do commemorate the 75th year of the Nazi pogrom in 1938 and the Nazi terror that um, happened thereafter. I'm sure you share my welcome when I'm representing all the speakers and guests, when I personally welcome our two speakers from Israel today, which is Michael Schwarz from the Weizmann Institute and Dan Schechtman from Technion. Welcome. We are happy to have you here. It's an honor for us that you share this day with us. Now, what is new? First of all, you will see this morning a world premiere. You will see a piece of art that is jointly created by Olafur Eliasson, who is a Berliner, an Icelander, and I, I shouldn't say a Danish, but a person from Denmark, and IYY, the Chinese artist who is appointed to be a professor in Berlin, but who can't come. He will be linked to us uh, electronically, and uh, we are happy for this kind of technology in that case. What is new again? Uh, we listen to you and we learn from the past conferences the message, we want more. We can't get enough of these outstanding speakers. Then we had a look at the schedule. Is there any place, is there any time that we could fill with more inspiration, more speakers, and we found it? The breaks. Who needs breaks? Who needs breaks when brilliant people from all over the world come together to communicate and to speak? So we skipped all the breaks. This will be the first all-day conference without breaks. After each and every session in this hall, we continue in the hall to your right at the new Falling Walls Forum. You will have the opportunity for Q&A, for asking, discuss, and dis uh, discuss with all the speakers, with uh, noted journalists and with experts and practitioners discussing with the scientists speaking on this stage. When you look at the stage in the main hall to your right, you will wonder who inspired us. And you are right if you assume it's two of the most popular academics, the most popular PhDs in this country, Dr. Vladimir and Dr. Vitali Klitschko. It looks like a boxing ring. But you can be assured the only thing that could be impacted is your mind. What stays the same as in the past years is our appreciation and care for our speakers. We asked them for a Herculean task. We asked them to share 
the issues, the problems, the questions they devote their life to and to share it with us in just 15 minutes, 15 short minutes. This is not really fair. And um, to make this conference work, to make it happen, we therefore help our speakers. So we have a giant countdown clock um, over here. And the, it tells me, by the way, that my time is almost over. <laughs> One minute before the end, there is a subtle sign. Can we have that, please? <coughs> And then we have a sign that is not so subtle anymore. And uh, maybe you come up now. You, you may think this is the third Klitschko brother. It's not. His name is Klaus Franz. Uh, he has a reputation for bringing every speaker safely back to his seat. <laughs> However, I cannot uh, leave the stage without having said thank you. Thank you to every one of you spending a weekend day with us on this conference. Thank you to all the speakers who came from around the world, as you've seen already in the uh, trailer. They will fascinate all of us as you learn without any break. I have to say thank you to the Board of Trustees, in particular to Ernst Rietschel, who chaired uh, the Falling Walls Foundation for the past years uh, with wisdom and particular wit and who hands over his chair to Jürgen Lüneck, who is our new uh, chairman of the Board of Trustees. And I have to say thank you to all the individuals and all the institutions that uh, helped to organize and to fund this um, conference. Uh, let me name, I can't name all, you find them in the documents, but let me name just a few. The Robert Bosch Stiftung, you may applaud. The Helmholtz Association. The City of Berlin. And the Federal German Government. Minister Wanka. Without your ministry, there wouldn't be this convention. With people from 70 nations, with some hundreds in this building and some thousands on the live stream. And since you interrupt the coalition talks and sacrifice a part of your weekend, we want to make you a little gift. Now, we do know that the Geringfügigkeitsgrenzen uh, of the public service, it's the uh, level of insignificance uh, uh, for gifts or no value gifts are allowed, apply. And so we have a gift of little value that could turn out to be not so unvaluable. Uh, since we take away all the breaks of you today, we will uh, help you to have more breaks in the future. And we do so by this little piece. It's uh, supposed to be on your door handle and it says, please do not disturb I'm working on a breakthrough. <laughs> now you can turn it around, of course, and then it says, please come in, but only if you have a breakthrough. <laughs> I have one piece for you and one for the finance minister, <laughs> whoever that is going to be. Thank you again. Uh, next to you is speaking Minister Wanka. We're happy to have you here. Enjoy the day. It will be lots of inspiration. Thank you very much.